The tankiness of the Dire lineup, they have the mech. Uh, Luna has good health, as we talked about earlier. So it might not be enough. And Answer Mage's damage output right now against BKB targets is very low. And he actually doesn't even want to contribute in the fights. We see Frost still not having participated in any kills. He's 0-0-0. -0 -0 -0. I do believe each game will start putting a lot more pressure with the BKBs. They will look oh, to find the Dire Radiant Jungle. Is Blink forward to farm here. Vici Gaming coming around the corner. Can they look at that? Oh, he's oh, oh, again. What? You gotta be careful. They pop the drums. They're gonna chase this one down. Fisher onto a boss. He's caught out. Echo Snap as well. There's no way he's getting out of that one. Suneko looked for the re relocate back out, but there was a time for it. And now six seconds before he returns, is he gonna be able to get himself back to home? I side side's gonna pick it up. Three, two, one. Oh, he gets himself back just in the nick of time. He's gonna die too. Oh, oh yes, once. He has one target. Ooh. So, okay, if ISSX so doesn't miss that scream, that's two kills. So, Na'Vi fortunate there to only lose one hero with a little bit of a misplay from the Queen of Pain. But they lose the biggest hero that they really can't afford to lose right now. And off the back of it, Vici, they feel that they've got the space to go for Roshan, and, and I think they have. With one hero down on the side of Na'Vi and the damage and the Roche killing potential that Vici's lineup has, they should be able to make sure work with this one. Getting blessed a little bit here by the RNG gods with a double damage for Super. Minus armor aura, Luna aura, they can even drum charge. This is a very easy pick off, and now Vici Gaming definitely in the driver's seat. He's gonna go to the Shadow Fiend. Dandy. I was not sure if they were going to get that to SF or Luna, but SF might be the better choice in this case. Dendi, now very close to the Academus here. He's going to... He's got to be like 100 gold away, right? He's, he's less than 100 gold. 30 gold to go, and he'll have that. And he's got... There is Snaker as well, but Fortz is at the Shadow Fiend now. Of course, Vichy Super is starting to look very, very scary. 1,500 gold on top of the BKB, and as you said, with the Aegis on top of that as well. Luna with, uh, I believe that's a completed BKB coming out. You've got a completed BKB now on Luna as well. So this is that time, as you said, where it's going to be very hard for Na Na'Vi to fight 5-on-5 five five against Vichy's lineup. Now we be looking to slow it down a little bit. Nice ancient stuff here as well on the side of Vichy Yeah. Luna is also very good at farming this. Actually, I want to say a kind of unusual build here for Hal. Uh, maxing out Lunar Blessing. Oh, can they burst on the side side down? No, F5 there with a the Telekinesis to cancel the combo from Denzi. And now it's Na'Vi on the retreat. Denzi actually wanting to go back in here, potentially. But there's four heroes on the side of Vici. They've got to be careful. Denzi and Snake just back themselves out. Shah's trying to block off Vici. They continue to retreat. And it looks like Vici won't quite be able to chase down the side of Na'Vi. And they do get themselves away. This is what I was talking about earlier. The moment Navi go for an aggressive play with their Lina, if there's any defensive support, this this time it's the Rubik. Oh, and they just to disengage. Gonna get caught out here by the all supers there as well. Super will pop the BKP. They do burst down there for hit first. Fisher coming out onto two Seneco. He's gonna just get evaporated there. Super blows him up. They turn their attention towards Funning now. He's gonna look for the TP. Will he be able to make it? No! Lose the beam from Hal. They'll clean up Funnick as well. And they take down two in return for losing the Rubik there. Vici game with two kills. And and off the back of that, Vici Gaming, they're starting to break themselves away from the side of Na'Vi. Nine for five. The farm's looking good as well. Her force is still in there. He's working his way towards the Yasha now. He's just a few gold away from picking up the recipe here. I mean, it's all about how much this anti mage can do for Na'Vi and how hard her boss can carry. Now, the issue here is... Anti-Mage versus Shadow Fiend is not a good Anti-Mage matchup until he is really big. Like, at the current point in time, if they have the same net worth, Shadow Fiend just mauls him, right? You blink and you just, Shadow Fiend just turns around and hits you and you actually can't win that fight. Um, so for now, Frost can't really join fights. He's gonna hit like a sweet spot if they just keep free farming where he will be able to, I, I'm guessing he's gonna go Mansa into potentially Abyssal, unless he, see that's the problem, he might have to get a BKV in this game as well to be able to deal with Vichy Gaming's side, which is just more farm to be racked up. And a lot of the time in this tournament where we've seen an anti-mage pick be successful, it's because you know, there's a really key target on the enemy team that you just blow up with Mana Void, and that's your early game contribution, like a Storm Spirit, a Shrac, or something like that. In this game, there's a Quap, but Ice 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 has never really been in a really good Mana Void position. I think the spell has been used once all game, actually, so he hasn't really been able to contribute that much, and that just means, you know, Vichy Gaming just get the farming trade, and to be honest with you, Luna also doesn't mind the one-on-one -on -one with AM that much. When he gets the Manta, if he comes in, it gives you something for the Glaives to bounce on, and you can actually just... You, maybe how will even be able to man fight him for a bit? Well, of course, was, uh, he's got to be careful every time he goes into the dive jungle, as we're seeing. But the dive got a fair bit of vision in their own side of the map. So anytime time Horse decides to go greedy and take those camps, I mean, you saw them, Beach Gaming trying to respond with a smoke gank into it, but Na'Vi were quick with the retreat. They don't get caught out that time, but they've got to be very, very careful when they step over onto that side of the map. How now with the helm of the Dominator?
looking to maximize his farm here. Takes the Centaur Conqueror and sends it down to the Ancients. Going to be stacking this. I think the, the build-up here for Hao is going to be keeping the Helm of the Dominator until he feels like he needs his Atanic, and then he's probably going to go into either a Mantis or a Butter now. I think Butter is the better choice uh, in this case. So you can just actually just turn on the Flutter together with BKB and just run heroes down. Uh, not needing to worry too much about sacrificing the evasion right now as anti mage is still not that big of a threat. And most will definitely not want to be getting an, an MKB anytime soon, so can also play in that maybe together with a solar crest pickup at some point. Well, and keep game. giving. Yeah, well, straight, alternatively you just you know go high ground. I mean look at the damage they're doing here. Navi needs to do something in response to the tier 3 now. They are not down. as fast oh, as Vici, I think. They're trying to push it in return on the bottom lane, but I think they're realizing now TPs are coming back. The tier 3 has gone down. They need to defend their base here. Dandy coming in just with the Dragon Slave, trying to force Vici back. And has called out the SF of the Yule. Oh, bottom lane what? at the same time. There's a bit of a fight going on. A Vorse jumping in on Tyler. Oh, man, avoid! Blows up by side size. Now he's going to go for the tower here. And the question is, are Vici going to be able to defend? Vici, they're still fighting in the mid lane. There's four of them. They blow up Dendi. The fire one. They're moving forward here as well, seeing if they can find our style. At the bottom lane, the Navi, they're continuing to push. A Vorse to Seneco standing their ground. He's looking for the rags. He should be able to find it. And he will be able to find the melee Rex now. Ice Ice and Howard coming with the defense. Seneco. Oh, with the the TP! He's out of there! He's back to base! He's A-OK! -okay. And Na'Vi, they take the bottom melee racks, and they don't lose any racks of their own in the mid lane. I could not believe that oh, was the outcome of that. Oh, they're OK there for Seneca. I think he's trying to slow them down, and it's going to work! It's going to work! He's set them up! Super gets the back off, looking for the red grip. We'll find it. Telekinesis is on to Dendi now. Funny with the bonus punch chip. Trying to continue the fight for Dendi. So, oh! Oh, the re really get back out! Saving them from the Sonic way. Won't say funny though, they'll lose him there in the mid lane, but again, Seneco here with the plays. Ice 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 has just been missing spells this game. He missed a scream earlier that cost a kill on the Wisp. In the base, he misses the Sonic Wave onto the Wisp, which the Wisp survives as a result of, and that completely changes this entire base exchange. Whiffing that Sonic Wave also gets him killed by the AM. And now again, another Sonic Wave miss. This is very uncharacteristic for Ice Ice just flat out having a bad game here. And Navi are taking full advantage of it. They managed to get a bottom melee racks out of this exchange. That's massive. I cannot believe that was the outcome of that. Future Gaming simply has the faster pushing team, but they just mis-executed it completely. And, and now the horse, he's got that finish map to style. He's got 1,300 gold on top of it as well. In terms of net worth individually, I'd imagine he's pretty much well up there towards the top. Yeah, he's, he's coming up to, well, 1.5k above the SF. And this is an issue, I mean, uh, compared to the Lunar as well, there's a huge difference in farm between the AM and the Lunar at this stage of the game. This is a really big deal. Forst will... I'm very curious to see his next item choice here, if it is going to be that BKB. Oh, Dendi moving into the top lane. How is oh, that? Who's finding who, really? And SF and FY, but now FY with the telekinesis onto Dendi, trying to look at him in place. Seneca coming in, oh! Tries to look for the relocate out, not there in time, and now it's going to be Seneco. He's got seven seconds left of his life. He might actually survive. He's got the they have no detect. Seven. They have no detect. Seven. Is he going to get out with the Glimmer Cave? Oh, no, he's not. I did oh. not see that cooldown. That is a problem. Yeah, it was the cooldown. It was literally, I think, a second on top of the re that came back. Very close. If he doesn't oh, Glimmer Cave off cooldown, he probably escapes that situation. But, Vichy Gaming might have noticed that it was used on Dendi, so they know it's a cooldown. And uh, stick around for a bonus kill, if you will. Worth noting as well now, of course, on the Earthshaker, on good old Femri, he has now got the Blink Dagger, so it's going to make it that little bit harder for Na'Vi to try and break high ground, and at the same time, make it harder for them to defend their own high ground, because we can expect to see Femri jumping straight in. Talking about jumping straight in, Ice 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 going into Funny, a Vorta turned out, they'll turn on Tyson's success with a Rocket Boy! Blowing up the corp! That's going to be Ice 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 down with a push from the rest of Vici coming out on the mid lane. Na'Vi, they are still down Dendi and Seneco, and the damage is going to be enough there. They'll find the range racks, they're looking for the melee racks as well. Can Na'Vi get them off this? It doesn't look like they can, and Na'Vi will lose this mid set of melee racks as well. So a full set of racks down here in the middle lane. Very nice for the side of Vici. Looking for House, Noble forward onto February. Can they turn this fight? Na'Vi, House going to put the BKB, looking for his way out of this one. Now he's ready to just turn around and go back in. We'll blow a path style here. Now the question is, are they going to try and look for more fun? It gets the Sigil out, trying to slow down the side of Vici. Ice Charge fucking up how No, we'll be able to walk around them here. Duke it out. Havors, he's coming into the fight now with a snowball onto How. Looking for the lockdown. Havors being tethered up by him. Seneco. Super getting caught up with the Yule's Light Strike. The Laguna Blade. Super's going to go down. Killing spree here for Havors as he takes down the SF. Femre now the Trooper. Blink 4 from Funny. Gets the Ice Shot. Blocks Femre up. And now Seneco turns up to the fire. Party with the, the experience. Blowing Femre up. They'll get them 
themselves with every kill now, they're in a force now, applying the pressure onto the mid lane, they might even be able to try and force out a buyback from the SF, still 50 seconds with Supers off the map. They do claim the racks here at Vichy Gaming, but they get to pay the price, Antimage getting the kill streak, and on the shadow, if you get a monster kill, that's another about 1,000 gold going to Kvost, so now has BKB. BKB He's and BKB. 1,200. He's going to be pretty difficult to deal with right now for the Vichy Gaming side. The right click items are not really coming out in force just yet for Shadow Fiend and Luna. And this is the soft spot I was talking about that they might hit the timing when uh, Kvost is able to really dictate the fights. I mean, with the BKB, this is it. This is fight time, go time. All the tier two's taken down now. They can try to wait for an optional, maybe Basher or even the full Abyssal and then go for the play, but... It is very important to play around Roshan right now. That is going to be a hot point of contest right now. Neither team, of course, knowing when it responds. It's a pretty late respawn, almost max time, as a matter of fact. This has really been kind of a back and forth game here. Both sides totally still in it. Both sides have been able to take down a set of racks. BG finding themselves the mid racks, and now they're finding themselves the bottom set of racks here. So, again, like the first elimination game, a very close match because we can really feel that both teams are playing their hearts out as the loser of this, of course, goes home. This is a very, very tense moment right here. Uh, any, any mistake right now will cost the Roshan, which in turn could cost the entire game. So, they're going to be very, very careful, both teams, not to make one of those key mistakes that gives that away. Of course, we should mention FY currently sitting on Antimage's Blink, one of the very good spell steals that I think they picked Rubik because of. Allows him to initiate from very far away with either the Force Staff or the Blink and use the other one as a defensive tool to get out again. Can even spell steal something else on the way as well? up now, under a minute. Na'Vi in the neighborhood. Ichigami actually looking towards the top lane. They saw a horse getting the push on, but a horse did in the tree line. 